Hey everyone and to all of my Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts and to all of my Totally Awesome Rocking Dudes and Dudettes It's your girl Claire again, I hope that you're all doing well Back again with another video but yeah. People will be nice to think carefully about attending social events in the run up to Christmas as it seems to spread of the Omicron variant When the government recently brought in new restrictions in England, they didn't reintroduce limits on socialising so people could still hold parties in private houses, pubs, nightclubs or karaoke venues. Don't mix with people you don't have to for either work or family thing. People should take laps or flow tests before attending any indoor gathering. They also reintroduced compulsory face covering for most indoor spaces, although not, not in pubs and restaurants. Some venues and events in England are also now legally required to check the COVID status over 18. The Scottish Government had already urged workers to forego work Christmas parties and has now also asked people to restrict time spent with other households. Where, where families do plan on socialising together, either at home or in indoor public spaces, they are also asked to limit social contact to other households either side of Christmas not asking people to change their main celebratory plans. New strong guidance has been issued. Keep celebrating as small as family circumstances allow. Everyone should be vaccinated and must test in advance. Rooms should be well ventilated and hygiene rules should be followed. Face coverings are already compulsory in most indoor most public indoor settings such as shops and on public transport as well as in pubs and restaurants are not seated. All over 18s are required to prove their vaccine status at nightclubs and other venues. Wales has announced a two-phase plan to, sl to slow the spread of coronavirus, which will see guidance in place in the one-up to Christmas before tougher legal restrictions are introduced on the 27th of December. Get vaccinated. Get a, take a lateral flow test before socialising, going shopping and visiting people, and do not go out if it's possible. Meet outdoors if possible, but if meeting indoors, make sure the area is well ventilated. Space out your socialising by leaving at least a day between events. Not forget about social distancing, wearing a face covering and washing your hands. On the 27th of December, there will be legal changes with the two metre social distancing rule returning in offices and extra measures put in place to protect customers and staff, such as one-way systems and physical barriers. Nightclubs also have to close. The NHS code of pass is already needed for entry to nightclubs, cinemas, indoor. No clubs, cinemas, theatres and concert halls and many other indoor and outdoor events. There's no requirement to socially distance outside. A maximum of 30 people for an unlimited number of households can meet. Doors, social distancing should be maintained as much as possible. Shoppers are asked to maintain physical distance with each other if possible. Face coverings are compulsory in shops, indoor seated venues, visitor attractions, public transport and a short time. number of schools across the UK are preparing to switch to, on, to online learning in January after the Christmas break. Under current guidance, UK schools are expected to offer in-person teaching when they return in the new year. Testing on return to school increased vaccination uptake, improved classroom ventilation, enhanced hygiene. But pupils have, will be sent home with laptops in case they cannot have face-to-face -face lessons in the, year, in the new year and are ensuring that teaching material can be made available remotely as during lockdown. Local schools may delay to start term to allow time to allow more time for testing and cleaning. Nicola wants schools to remain open if at all possible to limit further disruption. Schools and colleges will be able to pick two planning days at the start of spring term to allow them to assess staffing capacity and put in place any necessary measures. Schools will be able to operate staggered starting and finishing times across classes if they wish. Schools will face return in January. Not, all, not many schools had to close completely. The government says secondary school people should wear face coverings in common areas and on school transport, but does not apply to a warning class. Staff and visitors in all educational settings should wear face coverings in shared spaces. Secondary school people should wear face masks in classrooms. Staff and students in colleges should and university should also wear face coverings inside. 
Most governments have nine different policies for serving school staff and pupils and premises. School staff need to wear masks in corridors and inside areas such as canteens and classrooms. Post primary pupils must wear a face covering inside school buildings as well as on public and school transport. Staff are encouraged to wear masks in class and other school areas. Now yeah, I can't believe that this Friday, so tomorrow is like the last session of New Horizons before we break up for Christmas. That's crazy. Um, yeah. And I've been talking to Danny again, because you know, whatever. This is crazy. But yeah, and then it's nearly Christmas, and then it'll be like 2022. So yeah, and I've promised Danny that I'll try and be nice to him tomorrow, so yeah, if you like, thank you so much for watching, if you like what you see please feel free to leave a like, comment down below, share this video and subscribe and turn on the notification bell. This has been your girl Claire saying peace out to all of my Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts and keep on rocking you cuddly awesome rocking dudes and dudettes. And remember to always be yourself and stay yourself and stay loyal, my pros and princesses, and stay loyal, my princes and princesses. So, good night. Have a lovely ho Christmas holiday. Good night. God bless you. And stay safe and catch you in the next video. Bye.